All right. Now the you can take this and slide it down again. And when you do this, by the way, uh, you you don't want to. Some you could actually tape the clock spring in place. You do not want to disturb the location of the clock spring. Um, so just be gentle with it and, and uh, keep it in the same position. All right. So the next step really is is, is that we need to take and, and start removing some uh, additional hardware on it. And uh, in order to get the clock spring on off, you need to remove a bolt down here. And by the way, this little fastener is a pretty small fastener. Um, and I'll take a little bit closer look at it with the camera in just a moment. But let me get the socket for this, the torx bit for this, and, and I'll zoom up on that. And that's a zoom up for that little uh, torx bit. And it's a T8. And I wouldn't attempt this without getting the right tool. With the tool, that's, that faster comes out really easy. So um, if you don't have it, go on out and pick yourself out one. You know, pretty straightforward. Let's stick it on in there and, and uh, have at it. So, okay, so that pretty much covers this part. Um, I'll go ahead and take that fastener off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this little screw. Again, it comes out really easy with the tool. And uh, you've noticed I've taped up the clock spring just to be on the safe side. Do not want to disturb that. Now getting this lower control module off is a little bit tricky. There's two connectors on the back side of it. That, of course, is the airbag. And I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there's another one right there on the back side of it. So we're going to have to uh, remove those connectors. It's a little bit tricky on how to get to them. Um, and there's also uh, this whole module right here. If I can zoom back on out here. This piece right here is actually held on by two snap clips. Boy, that's poor lighting. Okay, that's better. And there's one snap clip located right in this blue area down in there. So I'm going to have to use a, I actually use like a steel rule to push that. And there's another snap clip that's located on the back side. You have to push it from the back side. Um, it's, uh, it's a bit tricky, and I think when I get this out, it will seem a lot more, um, at least it'll give you a whole lot better idea on, on how I'm going to actually push this stuff and, and release it. Okay, well, I, I am able here to, to actually take some photos and, and video. Um, this is the one connector you have to remove. You have to slide that red thing back and then push the pin in and then that connector on the back side will, will slide on out. And the other side, you're going to push this orange thing back and when you do that, it'll disconnect from the, the connector here. So that's pretty much it. On the front side, there's, it's, again, it's, it's uh, pretty challenging here to even see. If you look to the left there of that blue tang, you're actually going to go ahead and stick in. Of course, you can't, and the lighting's rather poor. Uh, sorry about that, but when I get it apart, you'll see. So I'm, I'm, I'm just pivoting and, and pushing against a tang here. Let me, let me go ahead and just put the camera on up here. And that's the best way to see it. So, there's a little tang right right in this hole right here and, and I need to go on in and then and then push it over. So I'm going to go on in, push it over and that'll release it. You know, don't force it. Uh, I think this is, has to do with the steering control module. You don't want to break this box. And then once you have these wire harnesses off in the back, if you stick your finger back on up there, there will be a little push you can you can hear it I mean I'll push it back in a push so you can hear that tang that's breaking loose you just if you got the connectors on out you just put your finger on in there and you'll feel it so push that on in and now this will come off and so what I'm doing is I'm pushing this tang back right here and I'm pushing this guy right here can you see that let me zoom on in uh, yeah I'm pushing this tang right here, and I'm pushing this tang right on here. 
And if you don't do that, this thing is going to come off. And of course, you've got the one fastener up here in the front that's holding it. That's that, that Torx bit. So if you do that, everything will come on out and everything's okay. So, so this part is, is complete. Put this to the side. Next, we're going to go ahead and take off the clock spring. It's just a series of little snaps. break these guys. Just be gentle. That comes off. So now your clock spring is off and uh, you're done with that part. Okay. Now we're getting to the, the meat of this. Let me, let me pull this camera on up on the other side here. All right. This is the replacement one. The best way to show what I'm going to be doing here is to look at this. Right here is a, a metal tang. So you need to be able to slide your whatever it is through and get beyond that release point to release that tang. So we're going to shove that the, the steel rule down there and release this tang. And then the second one is where the electrical connector, um, actually it's not the connector, it's the uh, point yeah, right here. So it's this piece right here. That's the other one that this connector is hold, held on. So we need to release this guy, and then I'm gonna stick a steel rule down the, the center here to, to release that little tang right there. So here goes. Let's do this first. I'm just gonna shove the screwdriver in there to Push that on out. There it goes. 